Thanks to XP Pen for sponsoring this video. More details at the end. A cool breeze crept through the valley outside of Telluride, Colorado, as my friends and I unloaded the truck parked on the dirt driveway. We had recently started renting an old mining house built in the early 1900s. Most of the home had been renovated over the years, but there were still glimpses of what the house used to be. The exterior of the home was painted a bright yellow and adorned a blood-red door. The yard was abundant with lush green grass minus the few brown patches that littered the ground. In the corner of the yard sat a dilapidated gazebo filled to the brim with landscaping equipment. I stood facing the house, admiring the quaint ambiance it seemed to exude. I felt something hit my back and spun around. My brother, William, was standing behind me with a box under his right arm. Let's pick up the pace, we don't have all day, he said with a little annoyance masked in his voice. Yeah, yeah, I responded, and started walking to the back of the truck. My other two friends, Elijah and Leon, were in the process of stacking some boxes on a dolly. Hey man, take this to my room, Elijah said, as he handed me a large box. I resituated it in my arms and gripped it. As I did so, I could hear glass clanging inside and a strong, familiar odor starting to leak out. Hey man, be careful, Elijah snapped. If you ever want to smoke again, I'd highly advise you to take it one step at a time there, champ. Maybe if you didn't throw everything into one single box without bubble wrap, then you wouldn't have an issue of something breaking, Elijah, Leon responded. Elijah's eyes widened, as if he had just figured out the secrets of the universe. I laughed, turned around, and proceeded into the house. The floorboards creaked as I stepped onto the warped living room floor. I surveyed my surroundings of the old rustic home as I headed to Elijah's bedroom. Only two interior rooms had been renovated in the entire house, one being the kitchen, which had marble countertops and new appliances, the other being my room. I was the one who found the home on the market, so respectively I had first choice of which room I wanted to claim as my own. The other rooms, on the other hand, were still the same as they had been since the early 1900s, with dreary wooden floorboards and old chipping paint. Dude, what the hell? William yelled from upstairs. I quickly climbed the narrow stairway to find my brother in his room. I walked in to find what looked like to be a large lump underneath the wooden floorboards. It almost looked like Andre the Giant was buried in the middle of the room. I told you it was an old home, Will. Things shift over time, I said, trying to hold my snickering back. Yeah, I get that, but you didn't say that I'd have to maneuver around a speed bump, he snapped back. I took a deep sigh and turned to him. Okay. Look, man, we're only going to be here for a year. You've got plenty of room to put your bed so you're not sleeping on an incline. William turned back to the floor dejected. That's easy for you to say. You're not staying on the cover of sticky fingers by the Rolling Stones. After we had moved everything into the house, we all plopped down on the couch, beers in hand, and began our well-deserved R&R. Elijah had already begun smoking, and the room started to fill with the pungent odor. So are we going to be doing some ghost hunting tonight, boys? Elijah said as he passed the joint to Leon. Oh, come on, you don't actually believe that crap, do you? Leon responded as he was rolling his eyes. The guy blew his brains out on the front porch in the 1930s. I'd be surprised if there wasn't a ghost floating through the halls. I mean... How do you think we got such a killer deal on rent? William said as he lifted his arms and started mimicking the sounds of a specter. Shut up. It's all nonsense. You've just been watching too much Ghost Hunters. I responded. But anyway, I'm going to go to bed. We need to get up early to do some cleaning. Good night, guys. I stood up and meandered to my room. In all reality, I was a little perturbed by what happened at this house. 
I've always been quite agnostic to my beliefs of ghosts or spirits, but I've never witnessed anything myself. The rent was super cheap for an entire house, and I wanted to save some money for a trip outside of the country. I pushed the fact that someone had ended their life to the back of my mind. I wish things would have turned out much differently. I entered my room and slid under my sheets and basked in the warmth of my bed. It had been a long day and my body ached from moving. I grabbed my phone and looked for a rain and thunder YouTube video to help me sleep, and after about 15 minutes, I crept into comfortable darkness. My eyes shot open in the middle of the night. The moonlight shone through my window and enveloped my room in comforting light. I could hear creaking from the house as the wind howled outside. I tried to sit up, but found my efforts futile. Sleep paralysis was a regular occurrence in my life. It happened at least once a month due to stress and a little help from my antidepressants. At this point, I'd almost gotten used to it. I could hear what sounded like a light scratching noise coming from inside my room and prepared myself for the usual dark figure to be standing in the corner. My eyes darted from left to right, trying to decipher where the noise was coming from. It was then I started to hear skittering, like someone or something was moving around. A cold feeling crept over my body as I started sweating profusely, my sheets becoming soaked. The skittering stopped but was replaced by cracking, one that resembled that of broken bone. Out of my peripheral vision, I could see long, needle-like limbs protruding from my closet. They each moved slowly, tapping the wall as if they were looking for something. I then saw a large, bulbous black mass starting to show itself from the closet door. It was coated in tiny hairs, and twitched almost habitually. A loud moan echoed throughout my room as the creature finally presented itself. A spider-like entity was situated on my wall. The reason I say spider-like was because its head had been replaced with that of a human one. Its eyes were blacked out from the shadows of moonlight and its lower jaw was removed, revealing a blotchy tongue that oozed saliva. It was about the size of a twin bed and stared at me for what seemed like hours. My heart was racing. I was begging my body to move, but to no avail. I was stuck there, in suspended torment. I tried screaming, but I was unable to make a sound. All I could do was watch the creature on my wall as it grew closer. Suddenly, it skittered to the ceiling right above me and started scratching with its two front legs, almost like it was burrowing. It then started to sink into the wall, as if the wall had turned into quicksand. First, the abdomen, then the legs. Eventually, all that was left was its mangled head staring straight at me. Those cold, dead eyes boring into my soul. I could hear it moaning, and I could feel the drips of saliva hit my torso. The creature then let out an inhuman roar and vanished into my ceiling. My body was finally released and I jolted out of my bed screaming. As I did, the house erupted into more terrified outcries coming from upstairs. Apparently, I wasn't the only one who saw something, and, unfortunately, it wouldn't be the last time, either. Thanks to XP Pen for sponsoring this video and sending over their new Artist 22 second generation tablet. The Artist 22 second generation has improved on the old model in every way, with a higher color accuracy screen, more precise pen, and a USB-C, so you can connect to your PC or Mac without adapters. The Artist 22 second generation features a 21.5 inch 1080p screen, an adjustable stand that can tilt from 16 to 90 degrees and a battery-free pen, so no more worrying about charging.
Llama Arts uses XP Pen products every day and has a positive experience with all the tablets she's used. If you're looking for a new tablet, check out the Artist 22 second generation and the rest of XP Pen's range in the link in the description below. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you would like to support the channel, check out the merch link in the video description.